Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back. It's Zach. Thank you so much for coming on to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about antioxidants. They have really taken off during 2020. Of all things to take off, antioxidants. I'll let you know why that doesn't make much sense in the upcoming video. Hit that subscribe button and let's just jump into it. Alright, in my hands here, I have two different antioxidant serums that I have been testing out and trying out for you guys. It is the Inky List Q10 and the Ordinary EUK 134.1%. These are both antioxidant formulas, but they do have their own different rules and regulations with use. So antioxidants, why they have taken off during 2020, I have no idea. The year of being inside your house the most and wearing a face mask. So why are we so worried about antioxidants? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. If you have a face mask on, you're not going to get those environmental pollutants on your face. I guess maybe your forehead and your eyes, but like, really? You're worried about antioxidant serums now? There's not a lot of data on them. If they work or they don't, you're not really gonna know until years down the line if they have been benefiting you by scavenging free radicals or not. So there's not a lot of hope in these products, I wouldn't go out spending hundreds of dollars to find out 10 years down the line with more research that these didn't do anything. But this product that I have from the Inky List, the Coenzyme Q10, it is $6.99. So for me, it was worth testing out. It's worth a try. If it didn't work, it's only seven bucks. So who cares? This product claims to reduce fine lines, reduce wrinkles, and hydrate your skin. Comes in a little bottle like this. You get one fluid ounce of product. It does expire six months from opening it. What do I think about this product? Well, I really actually like it. After I wash my face, I put this on immediately after. I follow it up with a moisturizer and then I go in with sunscreen. That's how I use it in the morning. You can use it at night, but you really want it in the morning to scavenge the free radicals in the environment around you. At night, when I'm in my bed, there are no free radicals, I hope. <laughs> so I like this. I like the way that it goes on the skin. I like the way that it feels. I hope it's doing something, but I really have no idea. Um, because of the other ingredients in here, it does kind of help plump the skin. So it's got caprylic triglycerides. It's got hyaluronic acid, which is going to plump the skin, hold on to water. It's got uh, soybean in it. It's got squalene in it. It's got some good ingredients, nothing bad in here. It's dimethicone, so it will glide onto the skin. Nothing bad that I see, pretty good formula. I like the way that it feels. I recommend picking it up, especially over their hyaluronic acid serum. I really didn't like that. I felt like it just did nothing for my skin. And if I'm gonna use some sort of serum underneath my moisturizer or underneath my sunscreen, I want it to have some sort of a benefit. So this has that hyaluronic acid in it, but it also can potentially scavenge free radicals and hopefully reduce the signs of aging in the long haul. If it doesn't, well, it still had that hyaluronic acid and plumped my skin and hydrated me, so I'm good with that as well. You don't need much of this. I do recommend dragging it down the neck. You can just use a pea-sized amount for your face, pea-sized amount for your neck, and you'll be good. You really don't need a lot. The packaging is simple. It's just a, a little bottle, easy to travel with. You just push down. Oh. Okay. All right, I'm back. Maybe the packaging does suck. I don't know. All right, so you just push down and uh, then you just you just squeeze some out. So I'll put some on the back of my hand just to show you guys. So it honestly smells exactly like the Inky List Retinol Serum did, which I absolutely loved. Highly recommend it. Uh, I love that smell. I love that smell. It doesn't have fragrance in it. It just naturally, you know, smells like that from the ingredients. I really, really like this stuff. So I had to stop using my vitamin C to use this in the morning. And I didn't want to do that because I've been loving my vitamin C from CeraVe. But I gave it a stop to test this out for you guys. And I've actually been loving it. So now I'm kind of like, do I use the vitamin C and hope for benefits of that? Or do I use the Q10 and hope for benefits for that? Eh. You know, both are kind of a gamble, but I really, really liked this. So I might just go back and forth between the two. Moving over to the Ordinary, the EUK 134.1% formula. It's water-free, high-potency antioxidant. It retails for $8.80, which I think is a pretty fair price. You also get one fluid ounce of product. It comes in the protective packaging that helps protect it against light. And what do I think about this product? Well, as you can see, I barely have used any of it because I've just been obsessed with the Inky List Q10. And you really have to restrict what you can and can't use this with. Honestly, just put this on in the morning and 
put on a moisturizer and a sunscreen. You can't use it with peptides. You can't use it with a vitamin C. So you, you really have to limit yourself. This expires six months from opening as well. Kind of annoying. I really, can you just put in a preservative? I like parabens, they do the job. Make this last longer than six months. It's just, it's really annoying because if I don't like to use this every day and then it expires and I have to throw it away and that's a waste of, pa of packaging and plastic and everything like that. That's one annoyance that I have with both of these brands is that the Inky List and the Ordinary, they sell you small bottles and they don't really use preservatives. It's like, sell me a bigger bottle so you're not mailing stuff to my house more often, having the UPS guy come, use his gas, wear on his tires that will have to get thrown out. The packaging, like make a bigger bottle, send it to me once, make it last a while so I don't need to keep getting shit mailed to my house. They're not watching, they don't care. Yeah, if I had to pick one, I would, I would pick the Q10. I just like the formula better. The ordinary one is just kind of oily and greasy feeling and I don't really like that in the morning. I totally prefer a nice serum and you know hopefully they're doing the same thing just scavenging free radicals in our environment but 2020 and going into 2021 you don't need to do that we're wearing masks we're inside most of the time i'm waking up at 10 a.m in the morning by the time i get outside the sun's practically already setting so i don't really need any of this shit. i don't know hopefully it's doing something we don't really know. The Ordinary one does cost more money too. So if I had to pick one and recommend to you guys, get the Q10 from the Inky List, try it out. Let me know what you think. But again, both of them, you kind of got to have your fingers crossed and just hope that they're doing something beneficial for you. You know, it is unfortunate, but there's not a ton of data out right now. Some suggest that it does stuff, that it works, it's better long-term. Others is like, you know, we don't really know. And in order to find out, you need long-term testing, how this affects you 10 years down the line. And that information is just not there. Definitely, if you're gonna use anything that's gonna help you the most, it's going to be a sunscreen, like this one by Dermatology that I friggin' love. I got tons of videos on my channel of sunscreen reviews, and I do have a top five video, so check those out. That's gonna be the best way to stop anti-aging and damage to your skin from being outside from ultraviolet light. If you are on a tight, tight budget, skip that whole antioxidant crap and just find a nice moisturizing sunscreen, and put it on, protect yourself, reapply it, and that's the best advice that you can take. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that this doesn't seem too negative. I do have high hopes for antioxidants and vitamin C, which is another antioxidant. But to be honest, the data is just not fully there. And for products that I don't like the feeling of, or if they cost a ton of money, I don't think it's worth it, but the Q10 from the Inky list is worth it. And I'm definitely gonna continue to use it. I might rotate with vitamin C because I really like that one from CeraVe too, but I do really like this one from the Inky list, which is also cruelty-free. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take care, bye.